is Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is From Enemy to Friend, Paul Met Meets Jesus. Let's read. Saul was a religious, religious man, a priest. I'm so sorry. He thought that anyone who believed in Jesus was spreading a lie and should be put in prison and even put to death. So Saul was a religious man. He didn't believe Jesus and he really hated that who believe in Jesus and they he thought that who believed and Jesus was spreading a lie and should put in prison even to death. Saul was going to Damascus to arrest Jesus' followers. Suddenly, a bright light surrounded him. He fell down. A voice said, Saul, where are you? So, uh, Saul, uh, Saul, why are you so curly to me? So, Saul was going to Damascus to arrest Jesus' disciples and followers. And so abruptly surrounded him. So he couldn't also so he also couldn't not see it. And it was so bright light. And it a voice said that sound why are you so curly to me? So I'll ask the voice reply, I'm Jesus, one of you want to harm. Go to Damascus, there you will learn what you must do. So Saul told to the voice that who are you Lord? And the voice replied that I am Jesus, one of the one you want to harm. And Jesus said, Go to Damascus, and there you will, and you will learn what to do. <laughs> we have found the Bible gem, Faithfulness. Saul got up, but he was blind. His friends led him to have a house in Damascus. Saul waited there for three days. He had nothing to eat or drink. So Saul got up, but he was blind. He couldn't see. And his friends led him to the house of the in Damascus. And Saul was waiting there and he didn't eat anything or even drink.
Meanwhile, Jesus appeared in a vision to Ananias, one of his followers in Damascus. Jesus told him to visit Saul to pray for him so he could see again. So meanwhile, Jesus appeared to a vision to Ananias, one of his disciples, followers. And Jesus told him that to pray for him so he could see again. But Saul wanted to kill Jesus' disciples and followers. Let's see what Ananias did. But Saul went to arrest our followers, and then he said, trembling, I know what I know, said Jesus, but I want to use Saul to tell people all over the world about me. So, and yes, was not that happy because you have to pray for Saul, but Saul wants to arrest his follower. So, uh, but God said, I know, but I want to tell, I want to use Saul to tell people about me all over the world. Anias went to pray for Saul. Jesus sent me, he said, so that you may see and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Saul could see again, then he was baptized. So Anias went to pray for Saul and he prayed for Saul and he decided to believe in Jesus and he was baptized. Jesus wanted to use to tell people all over the world about him. Number one, the religious man. Number two, Saul. Number three, and then yes, number two. <laughs> Jesus changed Saul from a man who hurt his followers and to a teacher. I <laughs> church leader who told everyone about Jesus so he changed his name as well to Paul so he changed his name Saul to Paul and also he was changed that from a man who hurts his followers but to a church leader who told tell everyone about Jesus <laughs> Saul's life was changed by Jesus, and his name was also changed to Paul. True. Yesterday I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy it? Next time I'll read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye.